Hello everyone and welcome back to This Is Real Life. I'm your host Sherry and on today's DIY Wednesday, I'm excited. Joe's excited too. He's just laying on the floor right here because he knows what is in store and he could not be more excited. And I couldn't either. I've been feeling like it's like, okay, DIY Wednesdays, we get it, home improvement. It's like been home improvement for me, home improvement for Jen. It's been a while since we just done something like crafty and fun. That is why I'm so excited about today's DIY Wednesday video. I was in the Michaels actually looking for a silicone mold for a DIY that I've been wanting to do for a while. And yes, could I have ordered the silicone mold on the Amazon? Yes, I could have. And I probably will have to. The Michaels didn't have what I wanted. The Joann's didn't have what I wanted. And I really like to shop locally. I know the convenience, they make it too easy, those Amazoners. We get it, two clicks and I'll have something here tomorrow. But I just have a strong, whatever it is, feeling that getting out, shopping locally. Even though Michael's is a big box store, it is still a store that is in my community. It is still a store where people in my community work. So I feel like by trying to go out and purchase something in my town, I feel that's better than purchasing it on the Amazon. However, when I was at the Michael's, I didn't find what I needed, but I did find what we are going to be DIYing today. I hope it works because like I said, I'm so excited. What is it? I'll show you. Uh, 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 it's a loop-de-doo. What the shit is a loop-de-doo? I didn't know, but I saw this in like, dare I say like the kids toy craft section of the Michaels. All I knew is when I looked at the front of the box, I was like, holy shit, it's friendship bracelets. I fucking love friendship bracelets. I don't know if you guys remember back, but every single video I had like two or three string type bracelets on my wrist. I've been wearing them forever. Davis has made me a friendship bracelet. Teacher Jen gave me one of the friendship bracelets that I had. But after a while, cause I never take them off. I shower in them, I swim in them, I pull in them, I work in them and I never take them off. And so after a while, the thread gets a little thin and they end up breaking off, hence why I haven't had any friendship bracelets on for a while now. So when I saw this, I about shit the bed. And I said, oh hell yeah, I'm gonna be making friends and influencing people all day, er day with this loop-de-doo. I know. If you're not familiar with the friendship bracelet situation, when I learned, I actually had one of the neighborhood girls come over to my house and teach me how to make them. But you use this like embroidery floss, and these are pretty cheap, 50 cents a little spool. You get a bunch of strings together, tie a knot in one end, and then it was like, tie a knot, move to the next one, tie a knot, move to the next one. And those style, I really still like that style of friendship bracelet. The loop de do does not look like it makes that knotted style of friendship bracelet, but it does look like it makes some pretty cool ones. I mean, look at the top of the box, seriously. And on the back of the box, this little girl's made a whole headband, anklets, everything, all accessories. Every accessory you'll ever need, you can make with the loop de do I'm just saying, make bracelets in minutes and make them with friends for hours. And that's what we're gonna do. At the Michaels, we saw this, I said, I knew I had to purchase it, but it was $30. Ooh, that's pretty steep. But it does say that it comes with the one loop de doo and 18 colors of the embroidery floss. I had these embroidery flosses, but I did purchase two additional packs. This is like a solid rainbowy pack, and this is like tie dye kind of pack. Now these two packs were $4.99 each, and they have 36 colors in each pack. So the 18 that's in the loop-de-doo plus 36, making bracelets for days. When I grabbed the loop to do I was like, shit, man, this is $30, but everything's on here so amazing. It says, just load your thread and spin either knob to create colorful bracelets, braid them together. I mean, everything about this sounds fabulous. So I was like, oh, $30 plus 10 more dollars. But then, you know the Michaels, while you're standing in line at the checkout, get on your phone and look up a coupon. I got the loop-de-doo and 
two packs of embroidery floss for a total of $36. And that includes tax, I'm just saying. So we're gonna make a shit ton of friendship bracelets if the loop-de-doo actually works. So let's get into it. So I literally bought this at the Michaels yesterday and I can't tell you how hard it was for me to not want to start making friendship bracelets last night. It was really, really hard. But instead of making friendship bracelets, I watched the new season of The Circle. If you guys haven't gotten into The Circle, it's on the Netflix, it's amazing. I've already described it once before in a video a long time ago, I think, but I'm telling you, get on the Netflix and watch The Circle. Also too, if you have the Hulu, you gotta watch that documentary. It's called Captive Audience. I love documentaries and I know this has nothing to do with the DIY Wednesday, but still, I just gotta tell you about it if you have the Hulu. If you don't, sign up for the 30-day trial for free and then cancel. The story, maybe you remember it. I don't know where you live, if it made it out to where you live, but it actually happened like very near to my town, like within a couple of hours. It's about this boy who got kidnapped when he was seven in 1972. The person who kidnapped him just wanted to have a kid. Seven years later, he escapes and he comes back home. Wow, holy shit, that family, oh my goodness. Well, then his brother, and this made like news, 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 went off the fucking rails. They don't really know if it was because like he was jealous because like his brother, when he came home, he was dubbed a hero because he also saved this other little kidnapped boy. They made a like TV movie. He was very, 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 very popular and all the media was swarming him when he got back. They're saying that his brother was like jealous and wanted his own story. So he ended up murdering four people. I'm just saying, it's a three-part documentary, and it was very, very interesting. Anyways, that aside, let's get into the loop de loo So, not a very large box. Select your colors, use one thread or dozens, and then wear it or share it. Oh, I'm making a mil, you know, I don't have very many friends. I need more friends. So I'm gonna make a shit ton of these, and I'm just gonna start passing them out to random people and say, will you be my friend? Make some for Davis, I'll make some for John, I'll make some for Teacher General, I'll make some for all the teachers. I love friendship bracelets. If this works out, can you imagine kids, grandkids, you pull out the loop-de-loop -loop and say, we're making friendship bracelets today. They're gonna think you're amazing. They're gonna think you're the best person ever on the planet if this works. So we're gonna test to see if it works. We're gonna test to see how great the bracelets come out. We're gonna test to see how easy it is, how much fun it is. We're gonna see if this is something that we're gonna do for the rest of our lives. Do a little side business, friendship bracelets, all day or day. Oh, here's the loop to do. Oh, and direction. So here we have our little loop to do. What do we? What do we do? What do we do? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. I can't. I'm so excited right now. So here are the looping styles. So they give you different ideas. You can make a swirl spiral, a twisted one, a zigzag one, a zigzag with a twist, color block. You can make, ooh, the loopy twist looks cute. You can make loose threads. Why? Why would you just gather up a bunch of loose threads and tie a knot? You can do a rope twist. That's cute. And you can do a spin as you go. I don't know, the loopy twist and the rope twist. I'm kind of like drawn to this one and this one right here, but we're gonna make them all. Determine your desired bracelet length by measuring snugly around your wrist and adding one inch. Remember this measurement. Okay. Understanding your loop-de-doo. Following the instructions will be easier if you learn these terms before you begin. Well, okay. We have the knob right here. The gear slot, there's a little slot there. This is called the hook right here. And there's a knob, a knob on both sides. A gear slot, a gear slot on both sides. A hook and a hook on both sides. Let's let's actually look at the loop de do. This is so cute. On the back of the box, there's a little drawer where you can store all of your embroidery floss and bracelets you've already made. Oh, I mean, this is so cute. I know it was in the kids' aisle, but seriously, I'm just saying side hustle. Get your kids in on it. Instead of a family band, you make a family hustle business and make friendship bracelets. All right, so we have our embroidery flosses that they provided, and there are actually a lot of nice colors. And then we have our, I mean, it's really nothing fancy. How do you open the drawer? Oh, you just push it. I love it. Do you love it? Oh, let's put some applause. Okay. Come on. You can coordinate them like here's my blue section. I'm already having so much fun. Real cute, real cute indeed. Yay. 
Oh, and this is nice. This has measuring right along here. You can have it facing that way or you can have it facing this way. It doesn't matter at all. I think we're ready to go. Let's make a bracelet. I was supposed to determine my desired length by measuring snugly around my wrist and adding one inch. What are my colors? There's so much to decide. Okay, let me get a measuring tape. You know I'm gonna do something orange. It's just like, that's just what's gonna happen. I went to grab my sewing box because I'm gonna need scissors as well. And then I realized my measuring tape isn't in my sewing box. And I was like, where the hell's my measuring tape? And then I remembered exactly where it is. I wanted this to be retractable. This just looks like they folded it up in here. But it's tape measure nonetheless. Go watch that and then you'll see where my measuring tape is. So I'm just gonna put some yarn around my wrist and then we'll cut it and then I'll measure it on here. Snugly around my wrist and then add one inch. Look at me, dainty, fragile wrists. They called me Mr. Glass. So I measured my wrist snugly and then I added one inch. So that gave me eight inches. Make a starter knot. Gather your threads together, double knot them onto the hook. Okay, well I guess we need to decide. Well, how do you know how many threads you need if you wanna make the twisty one? Loopy twist, hell yeah. Mm-hmm, see that? I wanna make that one. Oh, okay. So you're gonna pick your threads. There's like a cluster of threads in the middle of the bracelet and then your like colory thread that you want on the outside makes the colors. It looks like you use a lot of fucking thread. Should I make it all be orange or should I add some other color like beiges or white? Okay, I think the hardest part is picking out your color combinations. And I don't know how many different colors. We'll get used to that. For now, I've picked these colors for myself. Okay, first we gotta gather your threads together. I'm just gonna pull a little bit out of each one. Hopefully they don't get tangled. I'm not doing it really in any rhyme or reason. I'm just gathering the colors I selected. Gather your threads. I have five. Double knot them onto a hook. Double knot. Boom, double knot it. Great, moving on. Loosely wrap the threads back and forth around the hooks until you have the thickness you want. So then we go like this. I don't want it too thick. So wrap as few as three lengths for a thin loop D or up to 23 lengths, that's a lot of thread. So I went one, two, we gotta go around this one, three. So one, two, three. All of these threads right here are gonna be the innards of our bracelet. Then to measure the outside wrap part, that's when you go around and around and around again. For a thinner bracelet, wrap it like four more times. For a thicker bracelet, wrap it around six more times. This is gonna give you enough so you don't run out like halfway through your bracelet. So right now we're on three for the guts and then I'm gonna take this as one length. That's two lengths, three lengths, and that's four lengths. Cut your threads now that you have them measured. Get those out of there. Now you unwrap as many times. Boom, boom, and we should have three. One, two, three, yes. And now these are our wrappers. We got it, we got it. We're gonna get faster and better at it, don't worry. Okay, so basically, for your inner wrist, for a thin one, do three loops. If you have a wrist that is nine inches or smaller, wrap it around like four more times. If it's a little bit bigger, wrap it around like five more times. Once you have that, then you're gonna cut it away from all of your other things. And now you have this long dangling piece here. What we need to do is tie this piece off. At the hook opposite our starter knot here, so at this hook, hold the five threads together. Boom, like this. Now it says about a finger width away from this hook, we wanna pull this tightly like so, okay? Nice little knot there. Now our loop-de-doo is now threaded and it's time to loop away. So we have our knot over here, our innards or our guts of our bracelet, and then all of our extra thread that is gonna loop around here like so. Very exciting indeed. Now that you're ready to go, this is when you decide like what style of bracelet that you wanna make. And I just have a feeling we're gonna get so good at this that we're gonna be able to make up our own styles. And then we're gonna write the people at Loop-de-Doo and be like, you should add the Twisted Rope Tornado Blast. 
will name something like that and then it'll get pictured right here. So for the twisted one that I am wanting to do, it says the loopy twist is similar to the twist, but first you need to wrap the whole loopy in one color. First select that one thread. It should be measured longer than the rest based on how we set this up. Place the rest of your threads through the gear slot at the attachment loop to keep them out of the way. Turn the knob and guide the thread until you have reached the desired bracelet length. Then end with a double loop knot. So now you have to have a twisting hand for your knob and a guiding hand. So I'm gonna turn this this way because I wanna twist with my right and guide with my left. <laughs> so I'm supposed to twist as I guide my thread nice and tight and nice and snug. I think we just gotta get the hang of it. Okay, there we go, there we go. Once it gets started, then we're good. And I'm making sure mine's super close so I don't see any of the gut threads on the inside. I only wanna see this one thread. Okay, so far this is amazing. And as you get the hang of it, it's pretty fast. <gasps> I love it. I love every minute of it. Yeah, and I see like there's a little gap right there. I'm gonna shove that together. Oh, sookie sookie. I'm sliding my hand a little slowly, slowly down the way so that my outer thread doesn't lay on top of itself. It's just laying right next to itself. Oh my gosh, this is so fucking cute, guys. Okay, so you're gonna be at this forever until you get to the measurement that you want your bracelet. Just keep going. I love it. So I have finished my initial like wrap of the bracelet. Now what happened was I got to about the seven inch mark. I only had a little bit of this thread I've been working with left. So what I did is I just took this and I tied a little knot to what I have left and then I just continued wrapping and I hid my knot in my bracelet underneath the wraps and you cannot even tell. Now I've reached the end and it says when you reach the desired length, which mine is eight inches, that you're supposed to do a double knot loop, which I was like, uh, what a lot. But I think what they're saying is lay this over and now you have a little loop there. Bring your thread up through this loop and then pull it real tight and do that two times, hence double knot loop. I don't think that's going anywhere. I pulled real, real tight, and now that one's done. I mean, just this alone, hello, friendship bracelet. The gradient in the thread looks really cool. Looks like I used a bunch of different ones, and I didn't, and it looks so cute. It's actually pretty easy if you just kind of let your hand follow along as you're twisting and you try not to like fuck with it too much. It actually does its own thing and gets it pretty close together on its own. And I think the more of these that I make, make, the better at it I will get. But for my very first one right here, I love it. So now that we've done this one and we've tied it off, it says remove our threads from the gear slot. It says twist them in the same direction that you are looping. I don't know what that means. I don't know, it's already twisted. Why can't I just leave it like it is? Let me undo this ball of garbage and then we'll figure out the twist. So I have all of my twisty threads ready to go. You just twist them, twist them, twist them. I kind of want mine to be pretty tight. What you'll do then is you'll turn your loop to do and guide these around, not super clumpy together, but with a little gap in between. So I'm twisting them this away and I'm gonna turn this. I'm just gonna kind of let it do its own thing. Do I want them closer? Maybe. I said I was gonna let it do its own thing and now I feel like I want them closer together. I mean, I still wanna be able to see my gradation underneath, but I do want my twist closer together. Okay, that's looking good. This is the... <laughs> Seriously, this is so cute. But I will say that it's a little bit hard to keep them twisted as you're going and the same distance apart. Nope, mm-mm, spread out. I'm glad I put the little hint of brown in there. I'm gonna get better at this, I am. And you're, you just wait, we're gonna be making bracelets four days. I'm making all the styles, all of them. We're gonna run through all of them. Okay, we've reached the end. Now what do we do? When you reach your desired length, tie a double loop knot. While holding the finished threads in place, pull your looping threads over the top. So just what we did for that one, now we're gonna do them for all. Over, through, tie that. Then we go over, under, and 
through, pull tight. Now it says, cut the threads close to the hook. We have that much extra. Okay, what you wanna do is cut your little knot off and then cut that loop, boom. So now you have some frayed threads. So now what they want you to do, some of your looping threads, which is in this knot here, divide those in half. So I'm gonna put two on this side, two on this side. Then they want you to take half of this and half of that. So now you've got looping threads and main threads, a little bit in each half. Just tie a knot. So from here to here, they want you to go like this. Just tie a nice little knot. I mean, look at how cute that is. So now to put it on, you're supposed to take half of these and put them through this little loop here that you made at the other end, and then you tie it on your wrist, like so. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. You guys, this is so cute. You get it through the loop, like so, then you tie a knot again. Mm, real tight, real tight. <gasps> we made a friendship bracelet. I love it. And now I just wanna cut these a little bit shorter. I effing Love it. Oh, look at that. I tied it so tight. Let's put it on. Okay, it's a little big. <laughs> it's a little big. I'm not gonna lie. Now I know maybe I just need a seven inch one because this one's huge. It's really big. So they're not lying. Pull it tight and then add an inch because this is way too big. But you know who it's gonna be perfect for? Davis. I mean, this is so effing cute. I love it. I love it. Okay, so I couldn't take it. I wanted this one for myself. I untied all my knots and I shortened it, which was very easy to do. I just unwound a little bit and then trimmed it and then retied it on. And I mean, I'm friends with myself now. So yes, I freaking love the loop-de-doo. I'm not gonna lie. And I wanna make a million more. Now, on the pictures on the box, like honestly, if you did a bracelet and then you didn't want to make it a bracelet, how cute for a keychain, right? I mean, the possibilities are endless. I mean, anklets, summertime's a coming. Even just the very, very simple thin ones that just have a different color wrapped around them, I think those are darling. The one where they've taken twist ones and then twisted them together and then looped them. I don't know how the shit they did that. We're making more. And I think I'm really good at it now. Color blocking looks cute. Rope twist looks cute. I We need to make more. We need to make more. Next, I wanna try the color blocking one because I read the directions for it and it didn't make any sense to me. First, we're gonna gather our strings together and tie a knot around our first hook like so. This one is going to be for Matt. You remember Matt, he came over and gave us a tutorial on the cricket. Apparently, he is a huge San Jose Sharks fan. So I Googled the San Jose Sharks colors and it's like a tealy blue, an orange, a black and a white. Mine, I made it eight inches and it was kind of too big. And so I reduced it down to seven inches. Maybe for a boy, I'll make it eight inches. So basically I'm gonna do exactly the measurements that I did originally. So I'm gonna go three times around. That makes the guts of our bracelet. I like the thickness of this, so I like just the three. But now we're gonna go four times to get our outside threads. So now we can cut off this part. Boom, unwind those four you just did. I'm gonna flip this around, gather our strings here, and we want to take our you know, outside strings and tie a little loopy knot here. Mm-hmm, that's what you do. Now, here's what they said in the directions. You wanna pick your first one. And then it says, lay these in the slot to get them out of the way. Color block, color block, color block for as long as you want, and then tie this one off. And then it says, select your next color. But if I select my next color to start, it's gonna be way up here, and then it's gonna lay over my other color blocking ones, and I don't want that. I mean, unless they mean lay it on the opposite one, that does make more sense. Instead of laying it here, I think they want us to lay it down here, because these these ones also need to be in with the bulk because when we're done color blocking this, we're gonna pick our next one here. You just gotta work it out in your head a little bit, it's fine. I think the color blocking pattern I wanna do is a little bit of white, a thicker teal, a thicker orange, a little bit of black. Then should I go white again? Or should I go white, teal, orange, black, teal, orange, white? 
The possibilities are endless. I'm gonna start white, so let's shove those in here. Now for color blocking, we basically do what we did with this original bracelet, and we just wind real tight together. And then when we're ready to stop that section, we tie it off, pull that down, pick our next color, and go, go, go like that. I think it sounds easy. And what's nice is because there are little inch marks on here, you can measure to make sure you have the same like block sizes. My other three strands are out of the way. Here's my first strand. Hold tight, get it going. The getting it going I think is like the hardest part. And then once you get the gist. Okay, so now that I have a little bit of white, do that tie off thing where you go over, have your little loop there, tie it through and tie it off. Now we take this one and lay it in our loop. We're gonna get these ones out because now I wanna do orange next. So white's next to orange and then teal's next to black. And then put all of these in the slot. Easy, easy. And now I'm gonna color block the orange for like probably an inch maybe. And then tie that off. Now we're gonna pull that down, pull out our other guys, and separate out the teal one. Boom, boom, perfect. And I want the teal to be kind of the same length as the orange, we're just gonna eyeball it. So, twisty twist, get that teal going. Yeah, I think that's good, let's tie it off. See, it goes pretty fast, I'm just saying. <gasps> Look at that, oh, so cute, Matt's gonna love it. And now I want my black, just little guy, like the white, so like five or six turns. And they look pretty much the same right about there. Let's tie off the black, and then we start the whole thing again and make a cute color blocking pattern. I'm telling you, we're gonna have so many friends after this. Okay, a bracelet two, done. Color blocking, amazing. I love it. I ended with the black and I did one little loop-de knot. So what I need to do is do another little loop-de knot there for extra security. We'll take this end off here. That's our little loop knot, cute. Last time I cut it and it didn't leave me enough threads. So I'm just gonna untie this end right here because this is for somebody else. So I wanna make sure there's lots of thread at the end for them to be able to tie a knot. Cut that little loop off there. We'll divide it in half. We'll tie a little knot at the end and bracelet number two will be done. <clears throat> Real tight. We have another one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, even if they tied the knot right to this loop here, we'd still have plenty of room. Look it. So right now we've made two bracelets on our loop de doo As far as cost is concerned, each one of these is costing me a good $17. So I need to make more so I can get my price per bracelet down. But this one is effing darling. Oh, and see what I mean? Like really, if you didn't want to wear it as a bracelet, put a little keychain loop through here. Boom, it's a keychain. I'm just saying. Make it longer, you got a choker. Make it even longer, you got some headbands. A shorter, you got an inklet. Put a bunch of them together, you got a bunch of them together. So I'm probably gonna be making bracelets all night. We mastered color blocking. We mastered like color blocking with a twist. So now I'm gonna try like a full tight twist. I'm gonna try them all. And to be quite honest, this turny handle, and I think it's because I'm pulling really, really tight because I want it really, really tight. Sometimes it gets a little stuck, but I feel it's okay. But I also feel like, might it break? I don't know. So it's like, you wanna be gentle, but I mean, for what it is, it's pretty cool. It does go really, really fast. Ooh, you know what? I should time myself to see how fast I can make one. I mean, I just thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. They're amazing. I'm gonna make more. So far, I have made four bracelets. Mine, which is super cute. You saw me make the color block one. I made this one, which I really like. It's called a tight twist. It's just like a super tight twist. This one I made for Davis. 
I followed the directions to what they call a rope twist. The one I made doesn't quite look like theirs at all. I couldn't really figure out how they did it. I mean, I read the directions. Now, maybe it's because I used four different kinds of the gradation embroidery floss. The color goes from light to dark. It looks like I have a million colors when really I only just have four. I think the effect is still pretty cool, but I don't think it turned out exactly like this their rope twist. So now we're down to about nine bucks a bracelet. <laughs> See, costs are going down. I'm getting a little bit faster. You know, by the time you pick the colors, sort them, twist them, I'm thinking I'm about 30 minutes a bracelet which is pretty fast because if you've ever tried to do those ones where you knot them, which I still do like the look of those, those could take hours and hours and hours, just like knot after knot. These ones go pretty fast. Davis might be coming over tomorrow, so we might get him to make one and see how he feels about the loop-de-doo. Okay, so Davis just came over and he's like, what are you making here on the floor? And I said, don't look at that yet. <laughs> So he has no idea. I mean, he can clearly see. Like I'll, sh I'll show you my floor. It's a shit show right now. It's string everywhere. So I got a loop-de-doo. Loop loop it's a friendship bracelet maker. Oh. And guess what? Not only did I make myself a friendship bracelet, but I made you one. Yeah, do you like it? Forever ago. I know. I do. Look how cute I made wow, it. It's like intricate. Very intricate. It's got like one pattern one way and then like a pattern oh, around it. Yes. That's called the rope twist, by the way. Oh. So far, I'm kind of addicted. You have a button. <laughs> I know. I made nine or ten. Look at look at how many. So I've got my cost down because this whole setup cost me thirty six dollars. This included. Yeah. The loop to do. I figure the more bracelets you make, the lower the cost per bracelet. You know yeah, what I mean? Yes. I mean, look at this one. Pretty so I did the I did the double rope method that I did on Davis's, but then I covered the edges. So look, that's in the middle. That was cool. I'm amazing. The loop de loo is pretty amazing. I made a gradation one from orange to yellow to, to white. How do you apply it? To wear it, you take these two halves right here and you slip one half through this like loop and then you tie a knot. Oh. If you want to make some bracelets. I can come over and loop de do it up. I mean, you could do it later. He's very into his bracelet right Sorry. now. <laughs> the loop de do came with 18 of these. It does not take one whole one of these to make one bracelet. You could probably get two or three bracelets out of one. Okay, look at how much I still have. So you don't really need to spend 10 extra dollars on more of this no. because the loop de do gives you enough. So let's just say. What did you get? I got it at the Michaels. Oh. Can you seems, believe it? Seems Michael-esque. Yeah. I was thinking, are you ready for this? Okay. Let's pretend you're in elementary school, okay? Not far off. And I'm still your cool mom. Not far and off. I come home and I say, elementary school kid Davis, look what I got. We can make friendship bracelets and by we, I mean you and maybe another one of your friends. If you guys make 30 bracelets, that means the cost is a dollar, but you could go to school and double your money, or maybe even triple your money, and sell them for two or three dollars. So every weekend, you're side hustling. Now, I don't need to pay you allowance. You have your <laughs> own money. You're, you, you know, I know. This is my, a really weird yeah, timeline. My mom always said that she should not have to pay me to contribute to the house in which I live, and that's how I raised Davis too. He did not get an allowance. But see, okay, yeah. this is a good point. No allowance has to have a side hustle. And then, look, you have these all, and you have like a baggie of them or is whatever. It easy? Oh my God, it's so oh, easy. Oh, so it is a really elementary school I could do it. Uh, I think on the box it says no batteries needed, chill, ch kid powered or something like that. Point of the story is, hello, two or three dollars each. Double or triple your money. Double or triple your money in <laughs> one shot without having to buy additional supplies. Like when you're spinning it, like can you like get it going and then just kind of like look away and maybe like watch a Netflix? Oh, uh, you gotta look at it. Oh, you gotta look But at it, it only takes like 30 minutes to make a bracelet. Oh. Maybe even less the oh, faster seems... you get. Oh, I like the like pattern. That's color blocking. Oh, that's color blocking. That's color blocking. So you can make one for your friends too. I won't even charge you. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I could sell you some that I've already made and then you can give them to your friends. <laughs> then you can really show them. Yeah. Made a problem. But do you love your bracelet? I do. Okay, that's it. I'll put your bracelet on you. Thank you. Davis came over yesterday. I gave him his friendship bracelet and he was 
thoroughly impressed. And now he wants to make friendship bracelets for all of his friends. I showed everybody at work my friendship bracelets and they were amazed. Wow. What do I think about the loop-de-doo? I'll tell you. I fucking love it. It is amazing. Now, it kind of seems a little, like it's weighty enough, but it is plastic. The knobs sometimes get stuck if you're pulling really tight. Just work it through, it's fine. And then you'll be able to make amazing friendship bracelets. I mean, look, look at them all. I love them. I think it's the greatest invention ever. 29, at first I was like, oh, is that a little bit too high? Kind of, it kind of is. But if you factor in your 20% off coupon, what is that, $4 off? So it's like 25 bucks, plus you get 18 different embroidery flosses, which is plenty. 18 of these suckers and one loop-de-doo, you can make a million bracelets. You don't have to go crazy whack funky like I did and buy all of these. I didn't really need to do that. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm never gonna go through all of this embroidery floss ever. Save yourself 10 bucks, maybe if you want to. Like if there's a color you must have, you can purchase these individually. I don't know, I feel like they're like 50 cents. So rather than going hog wild and buying like two packs, just supplement in some little colors that may not be included in the loop-de-doo. Just buy a few of these or don't buy any extra at all and just use what comes in the loop-de-doo. It's plenty. So yeah, if I had nothing else to do in my life, like no full-time job, no nothing, I would just be sitting here making friendship bracelets all day, every day. The directions, Ugh. In some areas, the directions were a little bit like, oh, wait, what are they talking about? Let me read that again. But when you do read it again, you get the gist of it. You can figure it out. It's pretty easy. What I love is that once you get the hang of like how it works and twisting and the gradation and the, the color blocking and all of that, you can make so many amazing bracelets. Like there's no reason why we all can't have all of these. I'm telling you, run, don't walk to your nearest Michaels and pick up the loop de doo Don't forget to use the coupon so it's a little bit cheaper. But I'm telling you, if you love friendship bracelets or your kids love friendship bracelets, this is the way to go, man. That's all I have to say. I love the loop de doo It's my new favorite thing. So, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to ring that notification bell so that you are alerted to all of the DIY Wednesday videos I push out, which is every other Wednesday at 5.30 Pacific Standard Time. Be sure to share this video with your family and friends. And as always, thanks for hanging out.